norm, is a function, which measures the size of a vector. You can see the formula of this function on the slide. This formula implies, to sum the absolute value of each element raised to the power p, and raise the result to the power, 1 over p. There are three most commonly used values for p in this function. When p is equal to 1, the function is called L1 norm. For p equal to 2, it's called the Euclidean norm. Max norm, is when p is infinity. Let's now consider each of them in more detail. We obtain the L1 norm, by substituting p, with 1. On an intuitive level, the resulting formula simply implies, to sum the absolute values of all elements. Let's do an example. Consider the vector x. To find the L1 norm of this vector, we have to sum the absolute values of its elements. This is a very simple addition resulting in 9. We obtain the Euclidean norm, by substituting p, with 2. On an intuitive level, the resulting formula implies, to sum the squared values of all elements, and take the square root. Let's find the Euclidean norm of the vector x. First, we sum the squared values of all elements. Then, we take the square root of the result. In the end, we will find that the Euclidean norm of the vector x, is approximately 5.9. Max norm, as the name implies, simply means to find the element with largest absolute value. In our vector x, the number with largest absolute value is 5. So the max norm of the vector x is 5.